that Kenya Airways pilots, through their association, the Kenya Airline Pilots Association, Kalpa, have issued a 14-day strike notice citing withdrawal of the Provident Fund, harassment of union officials and mismanagement of the airline. In a statement, the airline's managing director, Alan Kilavuka, said the strike notice was surprising and disappointing, considering that the KQ management has always engaged union officials in consultative meetings. Faisal Ahmed has more on this story. Kenya Airlines Pilots Association has issued a strike notice to national carrier Kenya Airways citing leadership and governance problems at the airline, non-adherence to the collective bargaining agreement signed and victimization and harassment of union officials by KQ management. In a statement, Kalpa Secretary General Captain Murey Dinyaga said that they have tried resolving various issues with KQ's management to no avail. They accused the airline's management and officials of remaining unbothered about finding solutions to their issues. In a rejoinder, KQ CEO Alan Kilavuka sent a statement to newsrooms saying that the notice by the unions is surprising and disappointing as KQ management has always engaged the union officials in consultative meetings following their agreed-upon engagement protocols. Kilavuka further stated that the union officials have neither used nor exhausted dispute resolution mechanisms that are available to them as per the labor laws. He added that it is also unfortunate that Kalpa has taken this action at a time when KQ is recovering from the COVID-19 pandemic and is beginning to record improvements in its operations. In order to stay afloat at the height of the pandemic, the airline resorted to drastic measures, including reducing their destinations, sending staff members on early retirement to consolidate their wage bill, and converting some of their passenger aircrafts to cargo carriers to increase revenues when passenger numbers were low. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.